classified material has a header which says top secret, secret, confidential, nothing. And I, would, I will repeat this, and this is verified in the report by the Department of Justice. None of the emails sent or received by me had such a header. So that was Hillary Clinton's response last night, question about her emails in the server. Meanwhile, Republicans have pieced together a timeline in the scandal, and House Oversight Chair Jason Chaffetz will hold a hearing on a lot of this in about 45 minutes. Thank you for your time today and good morning. Um, this, Hi, Bill. this goes back to March of 2015. On screen now for our viewers. March 2nd, New York Times reports that Secretary Clinton used a personal server. The next day and the following day, preservation orders for emails and subpoenas issued by Congress. Same week, IT firm managing the server told to retain the emails. That was a company operating out of Nebraska, I believe. At the end of the month, Clinton legal team holds a conference call with the IT firm. And then six days later, that firm deletes the Clinton emails archive. When you get a subpoena, what are you supposed to do with it? Well, she so had two preservation orders in place. You had a subpoena. You don't destroy documents after you get a subpoena. There's, these are in, these are federal records. There's a consequence to that, and it's I don't think a coincidence that more than two years, two years after she left office, suddenly she gets a subpoena, and then less than 30 days later, these documents are destroyed. Okay, today, will you get to the bottom of it? Well, today we're going to look at the implications of, look, if you had a Freedom of Information Act request, a media request, if there was something that was put out uh, as a congressional inquiry, a subpoena, if Hillary uh, Clinton is holding four years of federal records and documents essentially at her house and with her attorneys, then none of those requests are filled. And so we want to know the implications of that. The Associated Press is suing them because you can't even get Hillary Clinton's uh, calendar at this point. That's how secretive it is. Democrats have put out an email exchange between Colin Powell and Hillary Clinton right before she took the job, suggesting that she was just doing what Colin Powell did. You've seen the email. Are they right? No, they're not right. And to try to pin it on Colin Powell is just downright shameful. Uh, at that point, uh, when Colin Powell, back in the early 2000s, a lot of people at State Department didn't even have access to the Internet. There was no way at the State Department to even email outside of the State Department. So you're comparing apples and oranges. And if your best defense for Hillary Clinton, after the lies that she has told time and time again about this, if your best defense is, well, Colin Powell, come on, that, you have no defense. Uh, James Comer, the FBI director, put out the FBI findings on Friday afternoon before a long Labor Day weekend. Th there are some are suggesting that this was wrong and should not have happened. He was hiding something. He's come out and said, listen, we don't play games. We don't do it. We put the report out when we have the information. What do you think about that? Well, I'm glad he put out some of it, but if it's unclassified, why not put out all of it? I mean, it's unclassified. Put out all of it. They handpicked a few documents. We're grateful for that. It's a good start, but they should put out all the unclassified information. But do you think he was playing games as the no, I, head of the I, FBI? Uh, I, he says he he says he wasn't playing games. I'll take his word for it. It was you know Friday afternoon before Labor Day. I'm just glad they're out, okay? Um, but I want to see the rest of them, and they're unclassified. There's no reason to hold them back at this point. You've got an election in about 60 days. Can you wrap not, this up before then? It's not my not my business. Hillary Clinton told. Uh, created this timeline herself. We're going to pursue this with vigor. We have two hearings, very important hearings, on Monday and Tuesday of next week. Uh, we'll go as swiftly as we can, but the, the uh, political calendar is very different than the congressional calendar. Final question. Will you get the witnesses you want to appear this time? without taking well, the fifth. We had to issue a subpoena to the State Department just to get the witnesses for this morning. And if we need subpoenas to go out for the, for, uh, the witnesses on Monday and Tuesday, of course we're going to right. issue but, those and I expect them to show up. I think the question is, will they show up and will they answer your questions? Do you know no, you that should. I, we're, Well, we're, that's why you have the hearings. But we're, if we have to issue subpoenas, we will absolutely do that. We expect them to answer their questions in full.